Hi everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Creates, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If I sound a little disappointed, it's because I just finished watching What If Episode 2. Um, and I would like to do a quick review on it. I might do a lot of ranting, so please bear with me. Uh, if you have not watched it and you don't want spoilers, I would suggest back out now and come back later. Because there will be spoilers. Lots of spoilers. Okay, so you've been warned. So let's get into it. So, what if episode two? In this one, we see what if T'Challa was Star-Lord? And I don't know who came up with this, but it is the dumbest concept to come up with this character. And I feel really bad because allegedly this is Chadwick Boseman's, sorry, Chadwick Boseman's last uh, role. Um, so the plot goes like this. You remember the opening scene in Guardians of the Galaxy when Peter goes in to steal the space stone or whatever? Well, this time it's a T'Challa. And when Ronin's guard confronts him and says, Who are you? Just as he pulls off the mask and he's about to answer him, <laughs> Ronin's guard goes total fanboy. And he's like, oh my god, you're, you're Star-Lord. I am your biggest fan. And just goes on and on. And then like he, he feels honored that they're fighting. And it's like the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> it's just like, really? Really? And just when I think nothing else in this episode can top this. There's more. Trust me. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting there. So then it continues with T'Challa, conf is confronted by the rest of Ronin's guard, and Yandu shows up and saves him. And as they're walking to the ship, they're talking, and you find out that Yandu and the rest of the Ravengers are no longer doing these, uh... How do I call these missions? Like, stealing from people and then getting paid for it. Instead, what they're doing, they're stealing now and helping out different planets in need. Because that's what T'Challa taught them. Okay. Sure. Next, <laughs> it flashes back to 1988, where the Watcher explains how this happened. Yondu, instead of going to get Peter himself, sent his subordinates, probably the two dumbest, including Razorface, and they go to Wakanda instead. Well, meanwhile, in Wakanda, before they show up, T'Challa, little T'Challa, is telling his father he wants to go out and see the rest of the world. He wants to know how everybody else lives, and the father explains to him it's too dangerous, there's war, they won't accept you, yada yada, you know, the whole spiel. Well, T'Challa gets mad, runs out into the city, out to the field, and then heads towards barrier, goes through it, and then that's when Yondu's guys pick him up. He ends up on uh, Yondu's ship, Yondu starts screaming at the guys because obviously they got the wrong boy. He shows them an image of Peter, how do you mix them up? And they had a bunch of excuses. Well, then Yondu looks at the kid and goes, what are you doing out there by yourself? And the kid goes, I want to go see the world. And Yondu goes, well, I can show you the universe. And the kid's like, okay. And I'm thinking, you're just fine with leaving your family behind and going with some stranger you don't know. Didn't anybody teach you stranger danger, T'Challa? I mean, seriously, if your father's overprotective about you leaving the city, I'm sure he explained things. If people who are not from Wakanda come near you, do not trust them. <laughs> well, it flashes back again to the present. This time they're on a planet hanging out some space bar and... The new T'Challa fanboy is going on about all the different things they've done and then he asks them... Wait for it. So how did you stop the Mad Titan? And just as he says that, Thanos puts his hand on the guy's shoulder and he goes, well, he convinced me there was a better way. You can't see me right now. I'm face palming. The Mad Titan, who, like, took out half the universe because he was convinced and nobody was ever going to change his mind that the best way to save the universe was to get rid of half of the living creatures in it, got sat down by T'Challa. And T'Challa told him, there's a better way. Let's do it this way. Okay, sure, why not? So you're telling me all Doctor Strange, Tony, and Peter had to do is sit down and tell Thanos there's better ways and start giving him options. And we could have avoided the whole Infinity War, Endgame, Black Widow dying, 
Star Lord looking like an ass that ended up costing everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then Nebula shows up, and she's probably the only character in this I like. It does sound like it was Karen, Karen Gillian. Um, I, it sounded like most of the voices were the characters. I knew it was definitely Chadwick Boseman, and it was definitely um, the guy who played Yondu. It totally slipped my mind. Um, she convinces the Ravengers to help her get into the Collector's place um, by offering them the stone. So they get there, and it's like pretty much similar to the whole scene in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, except it's T'Challa, the Ravengers, and uh, Nebula instead of Gamora. Well, then it turns out it was a trick. Nebula was actually giving them Black... Uh, well, at this point, T'Challa, not Black Panther. Um, he's upset because while he was there, he found a Wakandan ship and found out his uh, home world was not... His home was not destroyed like Yondu told him. So now he's in a prison, he's angry, he's yelling at Yondu, and Yondu goes, you're like me, I didn't want you to leave, I knew this is where you wanted to be, blah, 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 and I'm sitting here on, how long is this episode? Well, okay, then it turns out Nebula was tricking the Collector, and she breaks them all out, and T'Challa was in on it, and he helps, uh, he gets out, and... Also, the Collector seems to be on steroids. I, I don't know if it was the device he had all over him, but he was buff the hell out. And it was just like, huh, what? What the hell? And he seemed to have collected everything, including Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, Hela's helmet. And I'm sitting here going, how many more minutes in the show? <laughs> well, T'Challa teams up with Yondu. They fight the Collector. They... The, the girl slave that the Collector had helps T'Challa get out of his cage and then they put uh, the Collector in a cage T'Challa hands the girl the bracelet that activates all the cages and says I know you know what to do with this <sighs> so they leave, the girl lets everybody else out so they can take the revenge on the Collector okay that's great Howard the Duck made a cameo Cosmo made a cameo <sighs> Dark Elves Oh, and there was Drax. He was the bartender in the bar. And there was a goofy scene with him. So, they all get away. T'Challa takes the Wakandan ship with Yondu. And Yondu apologizes a thousand times over for what he did. And, and T'Challa's like, it's okay. Blah, blah, blah. So he says, you, you have to decide where you want to be. So he smiles looking at a map of the planet and Earth. And of course they end up in Wakanda. And the father's so happy to see him, and T'Challa lies and says that Yondu rescued him, and that's why he considers him family, blah, blah, blah. Shuri's there, everybody's there. You, Almost everybody you pretty much remember. And then it flashes over to Peter working in a Dairy Queen, and his father shows up and says, I, What's the matter, boy? Don't you want to meet your dad? And at this point, I have completely, utterly checked out. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of hoping this show would be really good. And so far, two episodes in, and I'm just kind of like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> the jokes are over the top. Um, the whole fanboy thing with the one character was annoying as hell. He convinced everybody he was T'Challa's best friend. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, Chadwick Boseman is great as always, and it, it's a sad thing that he's passed on, and I just kind of wish they did a better episode for him. They did do a nice tribute to him at the end, which was good, great to see, um, but the show so far is just boring the crap out of me. So, tell me what you think. Have you watched What If? Comment down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.